Yeah. All right. What's up, guys? Bobby K back today with Big Bill Hobby, and we have the brand new Dancing Wings Tiger Moth 85 inch wingspan, 75 inches long. Uh, this can either run a 35cc DLE gas engine or you can do what I did and convert it. It's gonna take a lot more work uh, if you wanna run electric, but we did it. We had RC Air Marshal help us out. Uh, links below to his channel. And uh, yeah, he figured out the power system for us. So we're gonna be running a 120 amp high voltage uh, Spectrum ESC 30cc Tomcat motor. And uh, yeah, we're running 12S book calls for 10S, but we figured playing this big, it needs some 12S. Uh, 20 by 8 prop and we already made it. it flies really good did pretty good in a cross so uh, yeah we're losing light so let's get it up in there without further ado let's get it up smooth as silk and I'm at half throttle Half throttle, no stabilization. No stabilization, no nothing. I am at 100% uh, on my aileron and 80% on my elevator. That's where I'm doing pretty good with it, but 15% next to it. It's so big when I bring it close, I forget. <laughs> like, it probably blows out in the camera. No, that was good. Not like the little 1.2s, huh? All right, so you guys see in slow flight. So this has been half throttle about the whole time. So once I get turned around, uh, coming up with here, we will give it some gas. You guys can see the power and kind of hear it. It sounds awesome. Going up. Plenty of power. Man, it's not going to stall. All right, now we're going to bring it back around. Just out of the power glide. two 6S packs. Yep, two 6S 5070C packs as far forward as you can possibly get. And trust me, if you're running electric, you will need those. No doubt about it. Those DLE 35s weigh a lot more than some of these electric power systems. How much weight did you end up putting in? Man, you guys are not going to believe this. So, <laughs> why, why weight? Per the manual was 28 pounds for gas. So when we weighed it with batteries in it, my motor system, my power system, everything, it was 17 and a half pounds. So we were way underweight. Well, that 17 and a half pounds did not get it. So we actually, it is unbelievable. We added five and a half pounds to this bird to the weight of the nose to get it where it would CG properly. And it flies great. It needed it. And I've been in half throttle this whole time. I'm just putting it around. It's, it's awesome. All right, here's full throttle again. I speak fast. We're running a master air 
through 20 by 8 wood prop. Come back Sick. into power a little bit here. Right at about five minutes. Try some approaches here. Now these hard tires, I, I'm going to definitely upgrade the tires on this. That's one other thing that I don't like. Definitely not a big deal breaker, but I want some uh, air filled tires on this bad boy. Sorry, I, I was literally that was going to be my landing, but it just I couldn't help it. baby. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nailed it. Dude. That was a good one, man. So glad it got it, calm. It is. Yeah. So when we made it, it was a pretty hard cross and it didn't look that good landing it. But uh, when it's pretty calm i mean there's a little bit across but not bad you can work it out easy but man nice. I, i'm kind of speechless that thing flies really good uh yeah i don't think i'm really gonna be taking too much else to the field besides that and maybe my j65 killer <laughs> man, mean, man so nice what else you need <laughs> dude thanks to air marshal for helping on this trip yeah, so uh check out rc air marshal He's been helping on this trip uh, with the backup camera. Scott Settle, V, everybody here. Thanks so much. Tony over there. <laughs> Getting it. Yes, sir. Dude. It's beautiful. Woo, that scared the cat. <laughs>